Morning everyone, good morning. Just fixing my phone on this thingy. <laughs> How are we this morning? Happy Sunday, sunny Sunday. Love it. It is gorgeous out. It's so fabulous. Love, love, love this weather. I think I might have mentioned that before. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's the post-its. They get all battered in. I really need to um, kind of um, tape them down properly because um, there's stuff that I kind of read every day. So they're kind of like my goal or my affirmations and I kind of have them everywhere. So um, it's a good idea actually to kind of write those down and have them in view every single day, wherever you're sitting, wherever your spot is every day, whether it's at your desk or could be your desk at work or whatever it is. Um, it's really handy to ha have them at visual because I know I keep saying it, but repetition is key. So the more you read something, the more you write something, um, especially if it's your affirmation, if you're trying to, um, if you're striving for a goal and you need to make some changes and you, in, in your mind um, to reach that goal, then, you know, writing these things down and um, saying them out loud, saying them in front of the mirror um, is key. And it's all about doing it on a regular basis. So, <laughs> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> That is um, something I do here a lot. I also have a check written out for myself. A few of them around the house as well. <laughs> yeah, that's the way, yeah. Why not, why not? Um, everything is in abundance. Um, just hasn't manifested in my physical world yet, but it's there, it's done, it's there. Uh, so how is everybody this morning? Um, it's Sunday, so maybe people are having a lie on. I actually had two glasses of wine yesterday evening and I just feel it across my head. Imagine after two glasses of wine, I'm not a drinker at all. Young, when I was younger, no problem. But I can't do it now, can't, actually can't do it. And uh, I actually feel now my, my hair is up too, too tight at my head. Oh, I've essential oils to help me with that, don't worry, I'll, I'll be grand, I'll be grand. Um, but yeah, how was your Saturday? Wasn't it just so gorgeous? I think everybody was out having barbecues. and uh, We couldn't have one because Liam was saying that there was no, um, fuel or whatever it's called, coals, whatever, um, in yesterday. They're not coming into next week. So we um, we had we did eat our dinner outside though and um, a, lit a little fire and the kids were roasting their marshmallows. So it was lovely. It was just so, so lovely and relaxed. It was gorgeous. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's, um, I was listening to a, a video this morning actually and it just reminded me of um, what I've been learning in the Thinking Into Results program that I'm doing, the Bob Proctor course. And um, there's one there's one recording and I couldn't actually find it, but I was I was um, I was thinking about it. It was it's called um This Is Good or That's Good. It's by Earl Nightingale. Morning Ona. Jeez, I didn't expect you this morning now, Ona. You like your Sundays. <laughs> Maybe you're watching from from your bed or yeah. <laughs> and yes, it is sunny. It's up, it's lovely. Um <clears throat> it's um so what was I saying there? Oh yeah, so or Nightingale, that's good. So I just, I just love it because, um, with every single situation, there's a good and a bad that go, that's going to come from it. Um, and I love this because, um, it, it helps me with, you know, little things that, that happen. It's just another tool, um, to help you get through the day, uh, as stress-free as possible. Um, it's, it's called, that's good. I think it's, that's good. I keep saying this is good, but I think it's, that's good. And it's, um, it's Earl Nightingale. So Earl Nightingale, um, mentored Bob Proctor. And he, um, he had this recording, and I actually couldn't find it. So if, if I think it might be on our abundance group. So Wendy, you're on our. I think Wendy, you're on this morning. If you're on our abundance group, I know you are on our abundance group. If you could even just get it for me, and I'll I'll post it on here. Um, somebody posted. I know. Uh, maybe it might have been Deirdre, in our group. But um, <clears throat> it's really good because you you every situation there is a good and a bad. So if something happens that's bad. If you say, if you get into the habit of saying that's good straight away, you will look for the positive in that situation. So <clears throat> every time something bad happens, let's say like even, you know, with COVID or whatever it is, you know, there's very few people that was able to say this is good. But, you know, and I can fairness, absolutely, you know, there's people dying. It's not, you know, it's not good for everyone, but we just need to kind of <clears throat> pull a positive from absolutely everything. And I know that can be so, so hard and so challenging for, you know, really big issues. But <coughs> sorry, I couldn't call my throat. 
but um, it's just something else that we could do um, to um, like even with little things if you if you can't do it with the big things try it with the little things first and then um, it will happen then with the bigger things so like say if something falls and breaks in your house um, straight straight away just to get into the habit whatever happens that's good that's good you know um, Hannah dropped my expensive essential oil last week or the week before and it broke and it was like 90 euros or something for this oil and I just looked and I said that's good that's good so like it was left in a place where it shouldn't have been left so it'll never be left there again so you know good coming from that is you know you, you learn not to leave it and um, where it's going to fall or whatever like you know there is going to be something good coming from everything every every situation um so yeah so that's just another thing so just just remember that every time something happens something bad happens just this is good or that's good that's good and um because there is good and bad from absolutely every single situation um so yeah so how are we getting on with our gratitude list <clears throat> have you started this new habit um are you going to continue it this is day seven we're a weekend now um, tomorrow is the beginning of week two and uh, yeah just uh, most of you on here this morning from what I can see are have been doing it already um, but um, yeah so keep me posted if you're watching the replay um, I'd absolutely love um, to see how you're getting on let me know and if you're enjoying it morning Aoife how are you um, if you're enjoying it and um, if you are going to turn it into a habit um, so I think we get writing so today is Saturday, the 12th of July. Sorry, Sunday. I was looking at yesterday's. So yesterday was Saturday, the 11th. Today is Sunday, the 12th. Okay, so. Alrighty, so the first one I always write down is um, I am grateful for, oh yeah, the usual grateful for and then your list um so you don't have to write i'm grateful every single time but um i'm grateful for um now i'm grateful now that everything in my life is moving in harmony with god's laws <clears throat> now that everything in my life is moving in harmony with god's laws Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, <clears throat> feel the emotions attached to each gratitude. You know, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. If you have to say it after each one um, or write it down after each one, um, read your list afterwards and say it after, you know, read your list out loud, say it after each one. Then, you know, whatever is right for you and um, just make sure you're emotionalizing each one. Um, okay, so... Um, right, so maybe have a think about, you know, situations that have happened to you or, you know, when we send love to people, <clears throat> it's always, you're sending love to people because it's a negative situation. So, you know, that was negative. So think about what, um, um, what happened and what did you learn from it? What good came from that situation? Like, obviously it's, it's a not, not a good one and you may never have thought of anything good coming from that situation. So, um, maybe, you know, write that, th write that down on your gratitude list this morning. So happy and grateful now that whatever happened because, um, and you know, you know, get, let us know what you've learned from it and, or not let us know, sorry, just, you know, write it down what you've learned from it. Um, obviously, if you want to share, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. We'd, we'd love to know, but, um, no, like it's, you know, these things are usually personal. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, just have a think about that. You know, who, who have you been sending love to the past, um, seven days, six days and, you know, what kind of situation, what, what did they do or say, um, that was negative to you? and um or to somebody else that you love what did they do and um you know write that down what what good came from it um so because there was good 100 percent, there is good in every bad situation there's good and bad in every situation so um so have to think about that and if you can't think of anything just you know go with your usual gratitudes um and write down you know what you're grateful for and uh, you know the weather you know nature your legs to be able to walk um your lungs to breathe and you woke up this morning your lovely cup of coffee this morning your lovely kids you know whatever it is um that you are truly grateful for that's what we write down 
Alrighty, perfect. Okay, so um, as I said, the first one is now that everything in my life is moving in harmony with God's laws. So so write uh, you know at least nine more if you can. If you can't, that's fine. If you're writing two more, three more, whatever it is, just it's not really about the amount. It's about how much emotion you can attach to each one. So um, usually ten is kind of the norm every morning. But if you're not there yet, we're only seven days in. You know, a few of you, this is brand new. Um, so absolutely fine if you're only writing five, three, four, six, whatever it is, that's okay. Um, just um, uh, but just keep it going. It's all about creating this new habit and lifting your vibration, and um, attracting in more of whatever you're grateful for. Alrighty, so we get writing. Okay. Hey, how's everybody getting on? Anybody like to share what they're grateful for this morning? Actually writing down, um, grateful for the time that we spent um, together yesterday evening because it was just so, so lovely. Morning, Elizabeth, how are you? Um, yeah, yesterday evening, I, I literally closed my books and I moved away from this desk and I don't do it often enough. And um, we just went outside for the after the, from whatever, four or five on and, um, ate outside and had a few drinks and jumped on the trampoline. All four of us were on the trampoline at one stage, yeah. And it was just, we just had a ball and the kids had a great time and then they were cycling around the house and it was just so lovely. And um, we were relaxing, there was no stress, no, um, you know, no, no negative talk, no ne negative thoughts. And it was just lovely, yeah. So I'm um, really, really grateful for that. So. You know, these are little things that um, we don't really get to too often because especially when you're you know, outside, the weather isn't great. Um, but not, uh, that's not an excuse. Like we really should, that, or that is an excuse, I should say. We really should make more time for each other anyway. But um, <clears throat> it, was just, it was just so lovely and just, the weather just made it all the better, you know. Um, so yeah, so I think we're just going to go off today somewhere for the day. So it'll be lovely. Um, yeah, so let me know what you're doing today. If you're watching the replay and I'm dying to know how you're getting on as well. Um, I really want to know how, um, if you're going to create this um, new habit and um, is it getting easier? A few people were saying that it's getting easier as the day goes on. It kind of flows. Um, so is it flowing for you or are you struggling? Let me know if you're struggling. I'd love to know. I'd be able to help. Well, I hope I'll be able to help. We could try. Um, so um, yeah, keep me posted anyway, and you know, message me privately if you don't want to um, comment on here. Alrighty, so we'll write a couple more, and then we will send the love. Alrighty.
<clears throat> so at the end what we will write is oh morning Emery, how are you at the end uh, we will write so for this and for more I am grateful thank you God thank you thank you thank you so hopefully you've space if you haven't that's okay just say it I'm just gonna write that and then we will send the love for this and for more I am grateful thank you God thank you thank you okay so I'm gonna grab an oil okay on guard is shouting out here at me on guard is our protective blend um, I have to look up the uh, emotional side of it now and Marie you want to get in there quicker than me and Marie is on here this morning and she's the lady that is, has introduced me to essential oils so she's very quick off the mark when it comes to the emotional side of the oils um, so it's the oil of protection so I knew that <laughs> so this combination of oils so it's a, it's a different few different oils in it and um, there's like wild orange cinnamon clove it smells like Christmas it's so gorgeous it's got eucalyptus and, and rosemary as well so um, it's generally used to shield individuals from bacteria mold and viruses this blend's protective properties, however, extend beyond the physical level by aiding individuals in warding off energetic parasites, domineering personalities and other negative influences. On Guard strengthens one's immune system, which governs the ability to defend against attacks from physical pathogens and negative energies. So I suppose if you know anybody that drains your energy or that, you know, if you come off the phone from somebody um, that... Um, just you just feel exhausted after it or even you know having a one-to-one -one conversation with somebody and you're just exhausted on guard would be a good one to pop on um just to um keep you strong keep you protective for taking on any of their problems so drop my hand <gasps> breathe it in oh my god it smells absolutely divine so if any of you have essential oils um use whichever one you have close close by and um it just um it's just a lovely thing to do before you know it kind of lifts you up as well and um it's, you know you're taking something good inhaling something really good and natural and pure i knew you'd know that one well <laughs> yeah i kind of i kind of did know that one actually i think it's a really good one and i use it a lot i do use it a lot um okay so let's send the lot so as usual pick um Two people that are bothering you, whether it was whether it's now or in, in your past, and um, and send them love. So and then the third person would, would be yourself. So picture them standing in front of you with a light. And I've started picturing a gold light. I used to always say a white light, but I, I kind of like the idea of a gold light, kind of like a ball in your heart, and uh, it rays. You know, like it's 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 um, shining from your heart to theirs and uh just send the love and you know t wish them well if you can't tell them you love them just wish them well and um you know get rid of all that negativity that's inside of you that's suppressed and make room for more positive um and uh, more positive energy and um they have some of your energy so let's get it back all righty so um yeah so we close our eyes a few deep breaths in and then we'll do it for the first one then we'll do it for the second one and then we will do it for um and um, for ourselves then afterwards all righty Okay, perfect when you're ready move on to um, person number two okay perfect when you're ready move on to yourself so picture you standing in front of you and a, a, a white light or a gold light, whatever color light you want, going from your heart um, to yours and um, sending love to yourself. We don't love ourselves enough. We genuinely don't. And we speak to ourselves negatively a lot. So we need to try and stop doing that and um, and show ourselves um, love and respect that we show to other people. All righty.
Okay, perfect. Um, so now let's, uh, excuse me, ask for guidance. So we will um, just ask the universe, you know, for guidance. So ask a question that you have been wondering about. If you're something you need to do today, that's um, going to help you with your business. Well, hopefully not because it's Sunday. So yeah, maybe ch we'll chill a bit, but you know, something to do with your family or if you t feel there's somebody, you know, that might need your help today, you know, and, um, you know, ask for the name of somebody or you might see the picture in your mind's eye of somebody that you need to help. Whatever it is um, for you, you know, ask the question and, you know, do this again if you can, um, you know, this morning, um, not, you know, you know, kind of get quiet if you do, if you can do it after uh, meditation or before meditation or even straight after this call because you're, you're kind of in that relaxed kind of mode and, um, you know, you're having a bit of downtime maybe. So it's a great time to do it when uh, everything is quiet and your mind and your body is relaxed. It's, it's the only time really to do it because you really need to connect um, with the universe, you're connecting with God or wherever the higher source is for you. Um, and you are um, and asking for guidance and it, you're really connecting with your own soul because these answers come from within and you know we don't realize we have all the answers um but we do and it's only when we actually sit down and relax and really um um, connect is when we get the answers so um so we'll just we just do like it more like a practice run here and um and try it again then after the call all righty Sorry about the background noise. <laughs> Very hard to uh, ask for guidance in this house. Um, yeah, um, I don't know if you could hear there, but Michael is eight <clears throat> on Friday. So very excited, a big bouncing castle coming next weekend. So hopefully all going well. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's going to be the talk for the whole week. But anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there and hopefully you get to do that again. Try it um, after this call. And thank you so much to everybody coming on on this Sunday morning, gorgeous Sunday morning. I'm so grateful to you all. And if you're watching the replay, let me know. And if you're having any difficulties or anything, let me know. Um, so tomorrow, back again, nine o'clock, have your, uh, your journals, your pen and your journals ready. And we'll write out another list of what we're grateful for. Alrighty, have a lovely Sunday, everyone. Thank you. Bye.